Our underdog team from Phelan, California, it is Team Rogue. Professional trainer April Valancourt's Doberman is a lady with a litter secret. I'm April Valancourt. I'm a dog trainer from Phelan, California. And this is my partner, Rogue, a three and a half year old Doberman Pincher. Stay. I opened my own dog training business about 20 years ago. My love of dogs came from my mom, definitely. And after mom passed, didn't really want to do anything. Everything I did with the dogs reminded me of her. So having Rogie with me forced me to get back out and do things. She helps me keep going because I cannot put all this talent on a couch and say, you can't move. We're going to be out there competing and mom's going to be up there cheering just as loud as ever. Dobermans in general are amazing dogs and they tend to excel at everything that they do. Rogue is definitely one tough mama. She just had puppies 12 weeks ago and she's already out here competing. We're here to show that moms can take down the big boys. Here they go. With the time to beat of four minutes, 42.06 seconds to automatically advance. And they're off. Oh. Uh oh, she's going rogue out of the gate. April feels like Rogue's strengths are her speed and agility. So we're gonna see if she can get it to pay off right here in the car slalom. Get up, get up. A big dog, it's harder to jump in. However, she's doing a great job figuring it out. Go through. Quick through the patrol car. Yeah. And just under a minute to fire escape. This is gonna be their biggest hurdle. It's a Doberman. Generally, they're not gonna be as driven to grab the ball as our police canine competitors. So I feel like they're really gonna eat a lot of time right here on the fire escape. After 30 seconds, the handler can pull down the door. The good news for April is Team Mesa lost time in the car slalom, so she's still on pace with them. So she can still advance to round two. So she took 30 seconds per level, three levels, 90 seconds. Back down to high jump. Here, I believe, is where we're going to see Rogue shine on the jump. Quick over the three-foot wall. Beautiful job on the three-foot wall. And right over the six-foot barrel. That was easy. Wow, she's flying over rope bridge. And I think right here is where Rogue's going to do the best in the entire course. They've got a very good chance to finish with our second fastest time. Beautiful a dive jump. like that will certainly help. Now it's just a fast swim to the finish line. Good, good, good. Three minutes, 48.09 seconds. Second fastest run of the canine combine for our underdog. Very nice job. April and Rogue, nice job. How would you assess how she did on the canine combine? Oh, she did fantastic. She's the only civilian here. We are the underdog, but it's absolutely amazing. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. That's right, it's all girl team. To avoid elimination, they need a clean sweep. All five items in less than three minutes, 39 seconds. Let's go. Come on. And here Let's they go. Rogue, she lets Rogue. Rogue off leash to start and into the luggage room where travel plans go to die. The scent is in the green duffel bag. These two train with a scent of clove, so that's the scent for her run. Yes, good girls. Is it? Find it? Yes, good job. Right there, that was a great job by April picking up on it. You saw Rogue, she's supposed to paw it or nudge at it, and she turns out to be correct. A very good start for Team Rogue. Into the bedroom they go. She's letting her dog use her nose, do what she does. She's sticking around right in that area. She's staying very dedicated. She nudged it with her nose, she's pawing at it. Let's see if April picks up on it, and she does. So they're at the one minute mark, they found two. She's on track with our two leaders. This is close. Into the bathroom where the item to find is the shampoo bar. You mentioned how difficult it is for a civilian dog to do this, but Rogue doesn't seem to be having much problem. No, and she did stay in that area right there for a little bit, and she's going back to that area. Right there, if you saw that, she, she smelled, looked back at April, April read it, three items in under two minutes, beautiful run. 30 seconds ahead of Team Kai, this is incredible. Now into the office where it's the desk lamp that smells like clothes. They need to find the final two items in less than 90 seconds to avoid elimination. Now, keep in mind, we know what the previous teams did. April and Rogue have no idea. They are focused on finding the five items that they can. April's spending a lot of time letting Rogue search the perimeter. This is where she needs to go in and start doing a bit more of a detailed search. This proves to be their Achilles heel. Oh, no, she missed it. No alert. When looks like they'll be eliminated even after that fast start. And our underdog, Team Rogue, who started off so strong, is going home. They should be proud of themselves if they stand by with Jamie Little. Big smile on your face, April. You found three oh. items, but unfortunately, we have two dogs that found all five tonight. It's amazing that since she's a civilian dog, she doesn't do this on a normal basis, so the fact that she found those first three so fast, I'm super proud of her. All right, Rogue, great job, girl.